welcome to the Audi Q8 concept car. Uh, so Audi have kindly brought along this beautiful car uh, and we're showing off uh, the Android operating system running actually embedded in the car. Um, so uh, by taking the open source Android platform, Audi have been able to customize it completely to integrate beautifully into the cluster around me, the driver. So you can see here, this is the home screen uh, of, of the Android system and um, it looks completely different from any other Android platform you may have seen before. And Audi have uh, really uh, brought some of the key features uh, to be very convenient for me as the driver. So with a single tap I can start my audio book um, or I can jump into a car application to tune my driving level or see the local weather. Um, or oh, let's let's go into the navigation. So this is this is Audi navigation, uh, and if we set that off, you can see this is written as an Android app, um, and uh, it provides a full navigation experience. And actually, Audi have integrated this with the digital instrument cluster. So you can see there's next turn information here in the cluster. The cluster itself doesn't run Android, but it's receiving data from the Android app uh, in order to show this information. And in fact, you can see here, uh, it's possible to provide map layer information into the cluster and then composite that with a speedometer and other information. So, uh, yeah, you get a very neatly integrated experience. Uh, let's take a look at the media applications. So, because it's running in the Android operating system, we get the benefits of uh, an app ecosystem that's ready. Uh, and you can see in the car today, we've got applications from some top developers, including Audible for uh, audiobooks, Poc uh, Pocket Cast for podcasts, and Spotify. Um, and the layout of, uh, of the app has been defined by Audi. Uh, they are familiar with the, the hardware configuration in, uh, in the car and what is safe for me as a driver to interact with while driving. Um, but Spotify and the other application developers are able to bring in their distinctive brand features, their uh, distinguishing uh, functions. So my Spotify playlists, for example, are all here, really convenient for me to access and start playing. We also have the Google Assistant built right into the car. So, what's the weather like in Yosemite this weekend? Friday through Sunday in Yosemite Valley, it'll be sunny with highs around 69 and lows around 44. So we can go about uh, daily tasks uh, like thinking about our weekend. How far away is it? If you drive, Yosemite National Park is 163 miles away. Cool, so you'll notice that we also maintain context across multiple uh, queries. Um, let me also show you Google Maps. Navigate to San Francisco. Sure, San Francisco. So you can see here, we previously looked at the uh, Audi navigation. Uh, we also have available Google Maps in the car. So this has the same features of Google Maps that uh, users know and love. And it's been uh, adjusted to fit seamlessly into the car interface. So you can see we're using a much darker palette here. We've got uh, three dimensional elements to the buildings to help the driver really interpret at a glance exactly where they are. We can use the assistant to help refine our route. So let's say I'm driving home to San Francisco and I, I'm pretty thirsty. So let's, let's, let's see about a coffee stop. Show me coffee shops along my route. Show so you'll see also... Show me coffee shops along my route. Along your route. My, my navigation hasn't been canceled, but I'm now told, okay, if I detour just seven minutes, I can pick up coffee at this coffee shop uh, and then continue my journey. So that's a really convenient feature for tweaking my, my plans on the move. So to summarize, the Android OS is running embedded in the car. It's providing a highly customizable platform for Audi to uh, integrate neatly in the car and also a platform to bring in applications and services from third parties uh, so that as a driver I enjoy the most of my experiences.